A developing story tonight, police are investigating a homicide in Klamath County. It's the latest in a string of violent crimes, but the district attorney doesn't think current evidence shows it's connected to any other deaths. This is Jessica Genova has more. We've had a lot of homicides recently in Plymouth County since I became the DA. The latest one, the shooting of 32-year-old David Joseph Kelly Costa, found dead in a Chiloquin home on Sundance Drive. We have forensic information. Um, it's a, a shooting-related death, and we're, uh, that's, the, uh, that's what we're pursuing currently. Residents in the area say investigators knocked on their doors around 2 Tuesday morning asking if they had heard anything between 10 and 11 Monday night. We're still actively investigating the case and we're reaching out to the public to ask them for any tips that they might have related to this case. Neighbors say gunshots are common in the area. The manager of the Homeowners Association says this is the first homicide he's heard of in the neighborhood, but he knows nothing about it. We're currently investigating what, if any, witnesses are, are available. Another man says he has only lived in Chiloquin three weeks, escaping recent crime in his old neighborhood in Klamath Falls. It's been very busy over the last two and a half months here in Klamath County. Meanwhile, the Klamath County Major Crime Team diving as deep as it can into evidence and potential answers in this case. Patridge says so far there's nothing linking Costa's shooting to other homicides in the area and tensions over water rights or drug cartels don't seem to be a factor. It's under such a new investigation, I, I, we don't have anything currently right now that's tying to those particular situations. The district attorney says one thing he does know, you don't have to fear your safety is at risk. Based on the facts that we have now, we have no reason to believe that the public should be alarmed. Um, they should be diligent always in their safety, but we have no reason to believe that the public generally is at risk. Covering your news in Klamath County, Jessica De Nova, News 10. And Patrick says he hopes the forensic investigation will have more answers within a week.